We are now in the French concession area of Shanghai and right behind me here is a, a pretty famous landmark building. It's known as the uh, Wukang Mansion or Wukang Building and it was originally built in 1924. It's eight stories and it was built for um, foreign settlers here, foreign concession. And um, originally it was a building of 63 apartments with 30 servants quarters. And it, it's really a landmark building here in Shanghai. It's also a really popular area for people to take photos, but it's a lovely part of Shanghai, the French concession. You can see the beautiful trees in the, the road. There's lots of little stores and boutiques. Um, it's just a really, really nice place. And actually, I love this time of year. It's actually early November and it's not too hot and it's not too cold. It's just, it's just right. Um, I'm well, not sure what that's a steak sandwich place over here by the looks of it. It's quite, oh, it's quite busy. It's uh, <coughs> obviously pretty popular. Okay, so it's a steak, steak sandwich, I think. Oh yeah, yeah, there you go. Look, that's what it is there. So, a lot of people waiting, so it must be good. It's always a good sign when you see a lot of people waiting for food because it generally means it's good. I lived in Shanghai for a period of time. This is the kind of thing I miss. You don't really get streets like this in Shenzhen with these sort of mature trees and this older style architecture. Actually lovely um, to be reminded of it here. It's really, really nice. <coughs> Got a, a woman here busy Keep, uh, not a woman, you got a guy here busy keeping the streets clean. Ni hao! <laughs> so, th there'll be lots of them all around um, Shanghai keeping everywhere nice and clean. And then you got some beautiful residents. It will, it's probably extremely expensive to live here, I would imagine. It's, uh, I mean, look at these places here, it's absolutely lovely. Wow. Look at that, that's superb, isn't it? It's lovely. Don't see any of those. Oh, it's, it's, uh, let me see. Oh. Not really sure what this place is, actually. Shanghai Automotive Industry Sales. Oh, it's SAIC. I think it's some commercial offices. <coughs> but it's just, it's just such a nice place to come, this French concession area. And there's a, a Pete's Coffee just here. That's a brand that I don't, I'm not sure whether we've got that in Shenzhen, but there's, there's quite a lot of them around uh, Shanghai for sure. A little boutique store here. Let's go and have a look in here. Wow, they have some nice things in here. Whoa, look at that. That's a nice, uh, that's a nice coffee machine, isn't it? Oh, nice backpacks and, and things. Very, very nice. Oh, I might have to treat myself to something from here. I like this backpack, it's really smart. It's really nice. Wow. Let's have a look around because I like some of the stuff here. Wow, they got some uh, really nice things. Wow, some nice gloves. Wow. I think I might have to, uh, I might have to be treating myself to something. So this area of Shanghai is just a huge contrast to like a Lu Jiazue, which is the financial, all the glitzy skyscrapers. This is sort of much, much more relaxed. It's, it's a completely different vibe here, but I, I love it here. It's so, so nice. This is kind of funny here. There's a huge Santa Claus climbing up the building. Oh my God. What's that all about then? No idea what that's all about. There's lots of people taking photos around here. Lots of really nice stores. That's a little drink store here. There's so many of these little cool stores in this area. These like little boutique independent stores selling like really, really nice high quality goods. I actually bought myself 
a pair of uh, gloves at that store. Um, they're really nice, soft leather gloves, man. So uh, they will be great for my trip to Harbin um, later this year. So I'm walking here and there's this amazing smell just um, coming to my nostrils. And it seems to be coming from this place here. I think it's some sort of bakery. And let's go and have a look and check it out. Oh my, look at those. Those are some absolutely, these are like Chelsea buns. I think I might have to get one of those. Wow. This is something I just don't see in Shenzhen. This is one of the things that just makes me miss Shanghai so much. These wonderful, wonderful bakeries here in um, Shanghai. All the croissants there and guys adding the nuts or something to it. Wow, look at some of this bread. It's just simply gorgeous. This is what I miss. This is what I miss. <clears throat> I think I'm going to have to treat myself to um, a couple of uh, these uh, Chelsea bun style things here. And um, they look really, really good. So I'm going to treat myself to a couple of those. Uh, Lianga. Okay, so getting two of those. Good. Can put them in here actually. <laughs> Those two, they're 20 yuan each. So that's a total of 40 yuan, but they look absolutely fantastic. Thank you very much. Bye bye. Bye bye. bye, -bye. Uh, that looks really, really good, man. I'm uh, looking forward to eating them later. Oh, I can't get out that way. I think I have to go out this way. <laughs> Cheers, bye bye. Uh, right, so, um, yeah, uh, this is what I miss. There's a lot of people here drinking and, and eating some nice bakery stuff. Fantastic, absolutely fantastic. Oh, this looks, uh, this looks lovely. Wow, look at these. Main course has arrived and it's looking good. I've gone for a, a bolognese dish and it looks absolutely gorgeous. My kind of food. So that was lunch at Il Titro, one of the Italian restaurants here. And there's just a massive amount of contemporary and really good uh, both Chinese and foreign restaurants in the Shinkendi area. So, this is a store I came into a number of years ago and uh, purchased an ice cream. And um, it's an Italian brand called Venti. And uh, I'm gonna again buy an ice cream here today. Um, so, let me have a look what flavors we have strawberry raspberry vanilla so i'm going to go for raspberry and um, vanilla so that's 74 rmb for my ice cream here it is expensive but it is absolutely delicious ice cream there's my ice cream let's get it ready what's going on there it goes wow look at that <coughs> well, wow, even get a bit of chocolate in the top. Look, how good's that? Shisha. Bye bye. So there you go. Look at that. Oh, even got a bit of chocolate on the top. Look. 
Oh, that is so good. That's a raspberry sorbet ice cream. That is really, really good. Absolutely. Top dollar, that is. That's almost a £9 ice cream if you're in the, the England, but it's worth every penny. It's delicious. Well, nice day here in Shanghai. It's about 20 degrees. This is so good. So Xintian D is one of the most um, sort of contemporary um, places here in uh, Shanghai. And it's an amazing place. There's just a massive array of really nice restaurants and stores. Um, yeah, it's absolutely great. I love it here. It's so for dining, Xintian D is definitely one of the places you should come if you're visiting Shanghai because there's some absolutely lovely places to eat and drink. And this place comes alive at night with bars, there's cocktail places, it's all going on here. We're now in Nanjing Road, and Nanjing Road is probably one of the most famous streets in Shanghai. It's a massive shopping street. And um, they've got one of the biggest Huawei stores in China on this street. And it's literally 5.5 kilometers long and it goes from the Bund right the way if you walk all the way you will end up in Jing'an near Jing'an temple and there's about 600 businesses and stores so you have cafes you have you know shops that sell things you have got all the big brands you've got many small brands but it's all going on on here and even on a um, weekday in the afternoon you can see it's pretty busy here come here a weekend or on a holiday and it's absolutely jam-packed oh, this is something you should really try if ever you come here to Shanghai this is like a it's kind of like a barbecue it's a barbecued sweet pork and it's absolutely delicious I love it I often will treat myself to some of this. Mm. It's very good. It's very good. Fei Tang Hao. I love this. That's so good. It's definitely worth giving that a try if you come to Shanghai. They do sell it in other places, but I first tasted that when I came to Shanghai and I love it. This here is one of China's biggest sportswear brands, Anta. A huge, it's a huge store. And coming up on the left-hand side now, this is the Peace Hotel. And the Peace Hotel is an absolutely lovely, lovely hotel to stay at. It's expensive, it's not cheap. Oh, Saying that, it's probably not expensive if you compare it to the cost of Western hotels. I think it'll probably run probably about $300 a night for a room. But it's a, it's a hotel that's definitely, definitely worth staying in because it is absolutely stunning. Um, it is a really, really nice hotel. I've stayed in there for one night um, just to give it a try and I'd thoroughly recommend it because it's lovely. And um, just on the horizon now, we're coming up to the Bund. So Peace Hotel's actually on the corner of the Bund and Nanjing Road. And this was derelict. It was derelict for many, many years. And about 10 or 12 years ago now, it was restored to its former glory. And um, it is absolutely superb inside. It's definitely, definitely worth um, staying there if you're coming to Shanghai and you can afford to for sure. This here is Jiapu Road Bridge and it was constructed in 1922 and it's really popular with tourists because it gives an alternative view of the Shanghai skyline. So one of the most interesting things about this bridge 
is that you can see both sides of Shanghai. You have this side, which is the Pushi side, which is the older side of Shanghai. And then over here, you have the Pudong side of Shanghai, which has all the skyscrapers. You have the Shanghai Tower, you have the Jin Mao Tower, the Financial Tower, and the most probably iconic building in Shanghai, the TV Pearl Tower. So you have the old and the new. And that's why this bridge is such a famous spot and it's great um, for you to see both sides of the city of Shanghai. I've got to say, of all the city skylines around the world, that's got to be one of the best. It really is a nice skyline and we're here at the golden hour. It's, it's just before five o'clock and that is absolutely spectacular. Look at that. So this is Jingyan Temple. It's situated on West Nanjing Road in the Jing'an district of Shanghai. And it's one of the city's most famous temples with a history dating back over 780 years. It was actually destroyed by a huge fire in 1972. However, it was restored and renovated and it was reopened again in 1990. And it's also um, a historically protected building. So as you can see, Shanghai really comes alive at night. I'm back on the bund and it's a totally different picture in the evening. So if you come to Shanghai, this is one of the places you must definitely come to visit.